Good morning, North Carolina Prepper here. I've seen a few videos lately on alternate power or uh, you know solar power, so I'm going to give you a hundred dollar solution for the apartment dweller. I don't know if you could assemble these things separately for this cheap, but here's go. <clears throat> Basically, and I'll go over this more in a bit, but this is a Harbor Freight five in one portable portable power pack. I generally keep this in my car because you know it has a small battery and it'll jump start your car. It's a little jump starter kit. We'll go over this in a second after I'm done smart. But <coughs> excuse me. Basically, this is everything you need right here. And a solar panel. This is a uh, charger panel I use for the Wi-Fi, but uh you could use it for this. It has a direct thing. Um let's get into it, shall we? Basically, we've got 12 volt plugs here for whatever. Or, like I said, I could just check my status right now. I see we're at about 75% power. It's got a compressor on it. It's got a work light, which is very bright, actually. You can open this up and plug it in. Yeah, USB, any USB thing. I don't know if you see a blinker. Okay. And then you take any USB cord, or, well, not any, but whatever's appropriate to your device. And you can plug that in. And then you can actually charge your phone with it. Okay. It says charge, but still. So there's that. <clears throat> That'll provide you USB. Now, you can also take and just run your charging panel directly into that. In which case, I'm going to do that here. Put that over there, stick it over here. We just take our 12 volt panel and then uh, plug it in and then I get it in the light and although you can't really see it I don't think, let's see if I can zoom on that uh, you can see that it's charging it doesn't really show up on the camera but it's pulsing in 12 volts into the battery in there. It's not a very good battery in there. And you could always do another battery to uh, supplement it. Um, take that off. Take that aside. <clears throat> now, let's look at this. So, with the little USB adapter, you got that. You've got your, your 12 volt tap. I've used this on my alternate power uh, radio station. It's got the air presser here. Or whatever you may need. I guess if you're a hurricane, you can inflate your your bed or your water bed and get out of town. Uh, you turn your power on there. That's a 400 watt inverter, I believe. We'll look at the specs in a bit. And you got your AC plugs here for your AC device on your inverter. And if you turn this on like that, you have a straight tap to the battery, which will give you 600 amps of power for not very long, I don't know how big the battery is, and a, a thousand amp a surge for a jump start, or your ham radio, I had my ham radio just plugged in in the uh, sides here, the 12 volt leads, and I powered everything for I don't know how long, and I haven't charged this thing since that video, so and we're down like, you know, 75, we're 75% full, and we were running it um, maybe 10 hours listening and maybe 20 minutes talking. Um, just doing packet radio, so that's not a lot of power. So there's that. With that and a solar panel, this will give you a 12 volts DC, USB charging capability. It'll give you 400 watts of AC power, a 260 uh, PSI compressor. And 600 watts continuous. And I'll put the math on the screen of how many amps that is. Um, for 12 volts. And um, 40 amp fuse for electrical. <clears throat> so, there you go. That's that. Let me, let me bring up the box here so we can get all the specs on this. But for an apartment dweller or somebody who couldn't put up big, huge panels, that would work great. Um, the battery... Uh, this here, the uh, 
little charging panel won't charge super fast but it will charge uh, you would want bigger panels like the other Harbor Freight ones or whatever and you probably want a better battery but you can you can augment this by just putting it on your your car battery if you have to if, if the battery internal battery goes dead you can put your car battery on here and keep running it so or just any, any battery or pull the battery out of UPS if you have them in your house but let me go ahead and get the box up here so we can take a better look at the specs all right I'm back <clears throat> so here's the specs on it basically that's the item number from Harbor Freight. You have to charge these things once a month, or the uh, the cheap Chinese batteries that go bad in them, the closed cells. So just charge it every month. <clears throat> but basically, we got your inverter, you got your 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 light, which is quite bright. Um, I'll annotate it after this and tell you how many lumens I get or lux. So I'll use a light meter on my phone to uh, register it. So we'll see what kind of light it puts out or the difference in light. Um, <clears throat> it's got charging stations, voltmeter in it, you saw this polarity indicator. So if you, if you plug in the uh, power pack here, backwards or not right, it'll, it'll set off the light right there in the middle. So let me zoom in on that. There we go, charging and indicator and polarity. <clears throat> um, it's a pretty good deal I think. Especially if you don't have any solar power already. Um, it'll really solve a lot of your problems. Especially like especially for an apartment dweller. I mean, I like this in my car. Because it's got a lot of benefits to a car. Because it's got everything. It's a complete power station. You don't really need to spend the money to get the one with the compressor in it. It's just nice to have it already built in. It's a complete thing. And other than having a small battery... You know, 400 watts is, is a lot of power for a lot of things. As a general rule for ultimate power, it's cheaper to save power than to create it. So instead of having a 100 watt light bulb in, incandescent, you get one of the, the compact uh, fluorescents that are going to run you like 20 watts and put out 100 watts of light. It's cheaper to save it. <clears throat> I'd really recommend this to anybody. It doesn't have to be this brand. It can be any portable power pack. Like I said, this one's about probably about I think maybe sixty bucks, and then the the panel, the the cheap cheap solar panel there was maybe I don't know fifteen or twenty, and then the necessary doohickeys there, the little the little uh, USB thing. I think I got on eBay for a couple bucks. Uh, you could use your regular phone charger if you have the auto. If not, you could just plug it in the back. But it's cheaper to go from DC to DC than DC to AC back to DC. Um, there you go. That's my review and my idea of a uh, an apartment solar setup for someone small or just starting out or whatever. Because solar can always be built on. Start small and go big. But like I said, I'm in the apartment right now and I don't have the option to put big panels up outside. They would get extremely butthurt. Uh, they're selfish, huh? Anyway, this is the power pack thing. For more info, you can stop it and look. It should be HD when I upload it. <clears throat> okay, North Carolina Prepper. Um, please rate and subscribe and have a great day. And please comment and tell me what you think or how I can make this better or what's wrong with it. Like I said, other than the battery, I don't really see a big drawback. You know, it's a small thing. Uh, people in New York, with a hurricane hit, they could just easily have lights and information. Some of these have radios built in them, which is kind of nice. This isn't one of them, but it's still nice. So there you go. Anyway, please rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Have a great day.